Have you ever wanted to quickly annotate hundreds or even thousands of images using an LLM but weren't sure where to start or how to make sure that your annotations were of high quality? In this video, I'll show you how to use Label Studio's prompts functionality to do just that and more. I'm Michaela Kaplan, the machine learning evangelist at Human Signal, the company behind Label Studio. Let's dive in and see how prompts can quickly and easily leverage the power of LLMs to label your data. The first thing we need is a project in Label Studio. You can build one by clicking on the Create Project button here in the upper right hand corner and following the prompts. If you're new to Label Studio or want more information on creating a new project, you can check out our Getting Started tutorial on our website, linked in the description below. For this demo, we'll be using a project called Animal Image Captioning. Let's click into it. As you can see, we have 200 tasks here that have been imported, and we have 20 already labeled. Let's click into an unlabeled task to see what we're working with. As you can see, we have an image that we have uploaded as part of the data set, and we're asking our annotators to classify what type of animals in the picture using these check boxes and to write a caption for the image here in the text box. Having humans do this work is great for quality, but can sometimes be costly from both a financial and time perspective. Let's look at how we can leverage an LLM to do this work for us. To leverage an LLM, we'll use our prompts feature. We'll use the hamburger menu here on the left hand side and we'll click on the prompts tab. This brings us to the prompts page. We've already configured our API keys for this project, but if you need to configure new ones, you can click on this API keys button here in the upper right hand corner and provide whatever API keys you need for your own LLM deployments. Let's click on create prompt to start creating our prompt. First, we'll give this project a name. Here we'll call it animal image caption. And we'll leave the description blank, but you could put any additional information here that you wanted to. Then, we'll select our animal image captioning project from the drop-down menu. As you can see, selecting this project automatically populated the right-hand side of this window with the things that we'd like the LLM to predict. A text area called caption and a choices tag called classification with the specified classes. These were taken straight from the label and config of our project, so we know the work is expected. Now we can click create. We're now ready to write our first prompt. We'll start with something extremely simple. Given the image, identify any objects from the provided categories and generate a descriptive caption. We'll then provide the data variables we have, which is just this image tag here. We can then select which model we'd like to use from the drop-down menu. Here, we'll use OpenAI's GPT-40, and we'll click Save. We can then select which tasks we'd like to run our prompt on. All project tasks, a sample of the tasks, or tasks that have been labeled as ground truth. For now, we'll leave it at sample tasks, and we'll go ahead and click Run. Now that the prompt has been run, let's see how it did. Here, we can see an overview of the LLM's predictions in the classification and caption columns marked by these little purple stars. We can click on any of the rows for a deeper inspection of the sample. Let's take a look at the second sample here. We can make sure that we're looking at the right one by clicking on Animal Image Captions 1, which is the name of the run that we just did in our prompt, and scrolling down. Here we can see the image, and we can see that the model has selected both dog and tree as being classifications for this image, and has provided the caption, a woman in a red dress hold the dog while standing on a float adorned with vibrant flowers and greenery during a parade. This is pretty descriptive, but I'm not entirely sure it's correct. Let's see how we can improve. To enhance your prompt, you could manually create different prompt versions by editing the text and saving, but Label Studio has a built-in tool for this. Let's click the Enhance Prompt button, shown here. First, we'll select which LLM we want to use as our teacher model. Here, we'll leave it as uh, GPT-40, and then we'll click on the Enhance Prompt button. Label Studio will use the model that we've selected to suggest prompt enhancements, explaining the changes, and provide a new prompt based off of the suggestions. We can see here that they explain all the changes that were made, as well as the new prompt and the previous version. Let's click on Go to Enhance Version, and you'll see that it automatically updates the prompt. Since this has already been saved, we don't have to click Save, and you can see that it has a new name, Image Classification and Captioning with Category Specification, which is the changes that were made. If we click on One, we'll go back to the original version that we had. It would be helpful if we could get some more concrete metrics, like Accuracy, Precision, Recall, or F1, to have an easier way to compare our different prompts. Getting these in Label Studio is easy. We just have to run our prompt on a data with a ground truth label. We have that. So let's go ahead and change from sample tasks to ground truth. And then we'll go ahead and run the new prompt. Now that we've run the evaluation on the LLM, we can go ahead and compare the gold standard columns marked by the gold star with the classification and caption columns generated by the LLM marked by these purple stars. As you can see, we can easily compare both columns, and we get a score noting how similar the LLM predictions were to the original ground truth. For any sample we'd like, just as before, we can go ahead and click into it to see exactly what was going on. Once again, we'll make sure that we click on our most recent prediction so we can scroll down and see exactly what the LLM has predicted. 
Once you're satisfied with your prompt's performance, it's easy to scale up and generate pre-annotations for all tasks in your project. By pre-filling the fields, you give your annotators a head start, allowing them to quickly review and accept accurate predictions or make corrections as needed. This shifts their focus from manual labeling to focused reviewing, creating more time for challenging or ambiguous tasks. And that's it! With Prompts and Label Studio, you can consolidate complex image tasks into a single LLM-powered workflow. From object classification to captioning and more, you can now seamlessly auto-label complex annotations, enhance and track LLM prompts iteratively for better performance, and maintain efficient, high-quality annotations with a human in a loop. Happy labeling!